DoorBot is a smart doorbell that lets you see and talk to anyone at your door before you answer it, even if you're not home. And Miko Headwear detects brain waves, analyzes your mood, and selects music that specifically fits your mood. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. The wings of the Clanger Cicada are able to kill bacteria naturally by trapping and pulling apart the cells. It's the first known instance of a biomaterial that can kill bacteria on contact and has been discovered by researchers from Spain and Australia. It has nanoscale sized pillars located on the wings that act sort of like spikes. Hopefully it can lead to the development of materials that are able to fend off bacteria on surfaces like doorknobs and countertops. Volvo has upgraded their pedestrian detection system to help drivers look out for cyclists. If a cyclist is detected and suddenly swerves in front of the car, an alarm is sounded and full braking power is applied. It uses an HD camera within the rearview mirror and a grill-mounted radar system to detect how close objects are. They're hoping to see a decline in bike motor vehicle crashes that accounted for 630 fatalities and 51,000 injuries in the US alone in 2009. The Virtuix Omni is a virtual reality treadmill that lets you walk and look around naturally inside a video game. It's only in the prototype phase as of right now and uses Kinect and modded games such as Skyrim and Crisis Warhead shown here. They're currently getting ready to launch their Kickstarter campaign to fund the project. This is a hummingbird, hawk, moth. The Maestro is a wireless 3D mouse for your finger. With a range of 30 feet, it's activated with the thumb and pauses when not in use. By touching anywhere on the touch-sensitive panel, the user is able to initiate cursor movement. It's controlled by moving your hand in the directions you want it to go, and to select, you release and tap the touch panel in either the left, middle, or right. And the estimated release date is Fall 2013. The Technolia Research and Innovation Center has designed Varstiff, a textile material that can be molded into different shapes, and when vacuum is applied, it turns rigid similar to plastic. Once the vacuum is released, it returns to its flexible state. It's first going to be used on accident victims, giving paramedics the ability to create an instacast to quickly immobilize parts of the body that are vulnerable to damage. An architect has designed an energy plant that doubles as a downhill ski resort. Scheduled for 2016 and located in Copenhagen, the structure's roof will turn into a 333,700 square foot artificial ski slope, and it's said to incorporate the latest technologies in waste treatment and environmental performance. Copenhagen itself is very flat and the only skiing is cross-country, so the designer hopes to introduce an entirely new form of entertainment. Chimera is an electric jet bodyboard. Developer Jason Woods wanted to create something that allows everyone to enjoy water sports. It's small enough to fit in most vehicles, light enough to carry by hand, and is a fraction of the cost of anything similar. Woods also hopes to get Chimera to lifeguards all around the world, giving them the ability to quickly get to drowning victims. Telesound is a speaker that can be triggered from a smartphone or tablet to communicate different emoticons through sound. It contains over a thousand sounds that are related to the particular icon, but don't worry, it can be silenced by turning it over. Finally, Koros is an experimental film from Michael Langan featuring the motion of a single dancer. I'm gonna leave you with a tadpole with a working eyeball on its tail, put there by scientists.
was amazing, but I've always wondered, could I jump in the air, shoot a rocket at the ground, and use the explosion to safely propel myself into the air? Kevin, it's actually funny you mentioned that because it's a popular move in video games called a rocket jump, and we discuss that and other explosions on Vsauce 3. Well, let's go check that out. Click this annotation right here, or the link at the top of this video's description to watch Vsauce 3. We'll see you there. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching.